in display fingerprint scanner, water drop notch, almost bezel-less design and super fast charging. These features are one plus sixty me aane wale hai na? Yes, but you can get these features right now at a fraction of its price with the Vivo V11 Pro. So in this video, I'll give you my initial impressions of the V11 Pro after using it for forty-eight hours. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, let's check out what you get in the box. Obviously, the phone itself, a soft transparent case, some documentation, earphones that look a lot like what you get with an iPhone, a micro USB cable, and an 18 watt fast charger that is way better than what you get again with an iPhone. ये सब तो ठीक है, but इस फोन में special क्या है? Special? Yes, there are five things that I really like about this phone. First is the design. I mean, just look at this phone. Front is futuristic with an insane 91% screen to body ratio. Back is super stylish with this gradient stardust color. This phone will turn heads wherever you go. Next is the screen, massive 6.4 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED screen, easily the best in its price range. And it also brings an always-on display, which I absolutely love. Next is the charging speed. This phone charges completely in under 90 minutes, thanks to its dual-engine fast charging. Pretty awesome, right? Next is the fingerprint scanner and face unlock. The under-display fingerprint scanner is just so cool. Yes, this tech is still in its infancy, but even then, it works fine, although a little slower than what we are used to. The face unlock is super fast, and it even works in complete darkness because of the IR sensor. Lastly, in my limited testing, I found the camera to be quite impressive with a lot of features and impressive image processing. I need to test it further to draw a proper conclusion, though. So, what are the weak points of this phone? Well, this phone has a plastic build, and the glossy back is a fingerprint magnet and can be easily scratched. Also, this phone is still using micro USB instead of USB Type C in late 2018. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. The type of storage used here is eMMC instead of faster UFS 2.1 standard. Even though it has such an incredible screen, it doesn't support HD playback in Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. Due to DRM certification issues. Lastly, it has Cat 6 LTE, which is quite dated, but I don't think it has anything to do with the drop calls issue that people have been facing with this phone. Also, Vivo has sent out an OTA update, which seemingly fixes this issue. Although I need to test it to confirm it. ये सब तो ठीक है, but how does it compare with the Poco phone? Well, the Poco phone is focused towards giving maximum performance at minimum price. While this phone is more focused towards providing a great design, display, and some latest technologies like under-display fingerprint scanner at an affordable price, both are great at what they are meant to do. But you can check out my speed test comparison between these two phones here or in the description down below. Also, I'll be making a detailed comparison between these two phones soon, so please subscribe and hit the bell to be alerted when the video drops. Overall, I'm really enjoying the V11 Pro much more than what I had expected. All right, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks for watching.